Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what can be going over is how to create a safe zone in which the player can enter and then not be damaged and be taking any damage from anything. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So very simply, I'm pressing 1 to take damage, as you can see in the top left corner. It's just a print string at the moment. But if I were to enter this safe zone here, you can see at the bottom it says you cannot be damaged here. And if I press 1 to take damage, it's saying don't take damage. And so obviously, again, I haven't actually set up a proper damage system, but this is the very start of it. So where I've got the print string, you just do your actual health. So when we're in here, we're not taking damage. But as soon as we exit, we're taking damage again, as you can see perfectly here. So this is what we're we'll going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to create a blueprint interface. So we can hit control space to open our content browser right click, go to blueprints and create a blueprint interface and then I'm just going to name this one BPI for blueprint interface underscore safe zone and I'm going to open it up straight away. In here all we want to do is create two functions and I'm going to name these enter safe zone and then exit safe zone and that's all we need to do in here. We're going to do the actual code for these functions inside of the player blueprint but this Blueprint interface just allows us to nicely and efficiently communicate with multiple blueprints. So if you have multiple players, this will work for all of them. So we'll compile, save, and close that. Then what we want to do is we want to create the widget which will inform the player that they are in the safe zone. So I'm going to right click, go to user interface, create a widget blueprint, create a user widget, and I'm going to name this one W underscore safe zone. And we're going to open it up straight away in here adding in a canvas panel and then simply adding in some text which I'll just have say you cannot be damaged here. You can obviously change this about as much as you like but I'm just doing it very basic just to get the idea across. I'm then going to size the content, anchor that down to the bottom middle with the position X and Y being 0 and then the alignment being 0 0.5 and 2. That's just going to place it on the screen where I want. And again, you can then also obviously have animations for this, so it's going to fade in and out, or slide on and off, whatever you want. But for me, I'm just going to have it just appear for the purpose of this tutorial. So I will compile and save that like so. And if you do want to know how to animate widgets, I'll leave a link in the description down below and on screen now where you can learn how to do that. Once you've set that up, we'll close this, and then we want to go into our player blueprint and start creating the actual code for this. So for me, it's going to be third person, blueprints, BP third person character, and then we'll just find some empty space. In here, we want to go to class settings up in the top, and then in the right, we're going to go under interfaces, implemented interfaces, add, and add in our BPI safe zone or the blueprint interface, which we created earlier. Then on the left, you'll see we have an interfaces tab, which we can open, and we now have the enter and exit safe zone functions, which we created inside of that blueprint interface. And so this is where we're going to actually do the code for when we enter and exit the safe zone. I'm going to create a new variable, naming this is in safe zone, question mark, and we're going to leave that as a boolean value. And I'm just going to set that off of both of these events here. Obviously setting it to true when we enter and false when we exit. So now our player character knows when we are and aren't in the safe zone. And so now the code in the back end knows when we're in the safe zone. We also want to let the player in the front end know when they're in the safe zone. So we're going to go to event begin play. You can hold down P and left click to get that if you haven't already. Then we're going to create widget. And we're going to create our new widget we just created called W safe zone. Then we're going to right click the return value, promote it to a variable, naming this W safe zone or whatever makes the most sense for you. Then back to our events, we're going to get this widget and then add to viewport on enter safe zone and then remove from parent upon exit safe zone. So I hope that all makes sense. So again, when we enter the safe zone, we're telling the code we are in and we're also telling the player. And then when we exit the safe zone, we're telling the code we've left and we're also telling the player. So again, I hope that all makes sense. And now to actually have this affect whether or not the player takes damage is very easy you're going to want to go to your damage code. Now, if you haven't got a health and damage system set up, I'd recommend doing that now. And again, I will link a video in the description down below and on screen now to where you can do that. Or what I'm going to do is just event 
any damage, as I'm sure that is what we'll probably be using. And then we're going to hold down B and left click to get a branch. We're going to get our is in safe zone boolean, and out of this get a not boolean. So that's just going to invert the value. And then that will go into the condition of the branch. So if is in safe zone is not true, i.e. we're not in the safe zone, we can take damage. So out of true, go into your taking damage code, which for me is again just going to be a print string. And I'll just name this one take damage. And then false means you will not be taking damage. So again, you can even probably just leave that as blank. So have nothing there as you don't want to do anything. But I'm going to put a print string saying don't take damage just so we know for the purpose of the tutorial. And it's as simple as that. So go to your damage code and just input these three nodes here. The is in safe zone, not and branch. True goes into taking damage. False goes into nothing. It is that simple. So we can compile and save that. And now the only thing left to do is to actually set up and create the safe zone. So I'm going to close this and then I'm going to create a new blueprint. So I'll right click, go to blueprint class, create an actor, and I'm going to name this BP underscore safe zone. Opening it up straight away. This is going to be a very basic blueprint. And all I'm going to do in here is add in a box collision like so. And I'm going to set the line thickness to two just to make it easier to see. But that's all I'm going to do in here. I don't need anything else. This is it. You can obviously make this look a lot nicer if you wanted to. So for example, I've got all this kind of these blocks here to show where it is. You could do that inside of this blueprint as well. But for me, all I want is just this signifies where it is collision wise, not level wise. So we'll compile, save and close that. Then I'm simply just going to drag this BP safe zone into the level and scale this up to the size which I want and which I'm happy with which I think is going to be something like this. So it's just covering the area which I've set out already, as you can see perfectly here. And that is all we need to do. So now we've got it all fully set up. Let's hit play and test to see if this is working. So if I press one, actually I need to set that bit up. So sorry about that. That's just something I need to set up just to test this out. So if I go back into my character blueprint, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the one keyboard event and put that into this branch here. So one is basically just taking damage as well. So now if I press 1, you can see we are taking damage. If I were to walk into my safe zone area, at the bottom of the screen, it's not saying you cannot be damaged. And if I press 1, I'm still taking damage. So let's have a look at why that's happening. Actually, I know why. It's because I forgot to set up the events inside of the blueprint, which we just created. So very sorry about that. It's very easy to forget sometimes. So let's go back into BP safe zone, go to the event graph. And what we need to do is right click the box collision add event, add on component begin overlap, do it again, add event, add on component end overlap. Now out of other actor, all we're going to do is call the functions we created inside the blueprint interface. So for example, on component begin overlap, I'm going to do enter safe zone, and we want the message there. Then on component end overlap, once again, come out of other actor, and just do exit safe zone message like so. And now it should all be working. So sorry about that, I forgot. So let's hit play, test it again. One, we are taking damage. If we were to walk into our safe zone, at the bottom of the screen, it says you cannot be damaged here. And if I press one, we're not taking damage. As you can see, it says don't take damage. And when I exit, that comes off screen and we can take damage once again. So as you can see, this is working perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up a safe zone inside of our games in Unreal Engine. So outside of the safe zone, we can be taking damage as much as we like. And then we can go into the safe zone. It will tell the player you cannot be damaged here and they cannot be damaged. So we see we're not taking damage. But again, as soon as we exit, we are once again. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.